EMD. Is it a type of music? An official designation of some sort? I'm Keith Walker. In real estate, it's the initial deposit, and I'm gonna give you the lowdown in just 60 seconds. Go. What is it? It's the initial deposit in a real estate contract that secures the home. Collateral, if you will. You'll find it in section 3A of the California Purchase Contract. So who pays it and how much is it? The buyer pays it once all terms are agreed by both parties. Contractually, the full 3% has to be in by the time all buyer's contingencies are removed. When and where is it usually deposited? Here in Silicon Valley, it's common that it's paid within one business day of acceptance but contractually, the default is three days. It's also usually a cashier's check or a wire and not a personal check. It's deposited with a neutral party handling the exchange, usually an escrow company. Why is it needed? Paragraph 21 in the previously mentioned contract is about liquidated damages. This is where the deposit comes into play. If the buyer has removed all of their contingencies and then cancels the contract and doesn't close, they are at risk of losing that deposit to the seller for breach of contract. It's basically the seller's security blanket. If you try to get this blanket, you'll wish you were back on the puppy farm. Like that. Now, if the buyer cancels the contract within their contingency period, they'll probably get their deposit back. Mandatory disclaimer, I am not an attorney. I hope you found this insightful. Any questions, need more details, reach out to me, the expert, for the answers. Thank you.